general makeup look. I really enjoyed filming this video for you guys. Honestly, it was so much fun. As you can tell, I did a very dramatic like copper eye look and this is just like my everyday look. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun. I really hope you guys have fun watching it. Thank you for watching. So let's get started. Starting off, I'm going to take the Ofra Kim Tai Wonder Lush Moisturizer. I don't really ever switch up my moisturizers when I'm doing like a dramatic or natural look. So I just stick with like the same thing. We're just going to pop this all over the face left and right. I love applying moisturizer. I feel like it's my favorite part <laughs> just because it's super hydrating. On an everyday, I don't ever really apply any kind of primer. I'm just going to go from moisturizer to foundation right away. Today on my right side, since this is going to be our side where we're going to snatch the face, I'm going to take my Professional Primer by Benefit and I'm just going to focus this like on the areas where I really need it, which is my nose and my cheeks to really smoothen everything out. So now that this side is looking a lot more smoother, I'm going to move on to foundation. For my everyday look, I like to use the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and I'm in the color vanilla. For my snatch side, I like to use a more heavy foundation. If it covers up good, I'm all for it. On this side, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation and it's in the color 2.0. So I'm going to drop a little bit on the forehead. This foundation is kind of weird because it's like super liquidy, but I really like it. So I'm just going to blend this out with a brush. Whatever is left on the brush of my foundation, I like to take it above the eyelid and that's going to kind of work like my primer, honestly. So as you can see, this side still looks kind of natural. You can see a little bit of that pimple. Now I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I'm going to pump, I would say one for now. And as you can see already, this is way more full coverage than the other foundation I used. It's covering all the redness. It's just super full coverage. I'm also going to take this above the eyelid. Now I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the color vanilla. It's actually kind of running out so because of that I don't really use it anymore only when I am trying to apply the littlest amount. So I'm just going to take some and apply this underneath my eyes. I would say I still apply a little bit more than I should. For an everyday look I never do my t-zone. I just do the under eyes and that is it. And I will for the most part, always use the same foundation brush and just go in there, blend this concealer out. And then I also like to go on the eyelids. For my glam side, I'm actually gonna be using my It Cosmetics concealer and this is in the color Light. It's like super full coverage, but when it comes to glam looks in general, I mean, I'll use any concealer. I put a little bit in the back of my hand and that's actually already a lot of product and I'm gonna start applying this under the eye. And one thing I like to do is also bring the concealer towards my nose like that. I notice it kind of like snatches it a little bit. <laughs> so I like to focus it on the side and extend it. And then I'm going to take some on my forehead, on my nose, and on my chin. And I'm just going to start dabbing away. Okay, this is a perfect example. I have a pimple right there and right here, and this one's a lot more visible. So I'm gonna take my Remmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in the color Transparent. And what I like to do with this powder is pretty much just scrape it. You wanna use a clean spatula or whatever it is and just scrape it. You could use it just like that, you know, but I just, I have to feel like I have a crap load of powder on me. I don't know if you guys could see that. I don't wanna spill it, but I actually just scraped it. So I'm gonna take the Morphe G2 and I'm gonna grab some of that product so first of all I always like to go in there and blend out any of the creases and then I'll take the powder and I'll kind of dab it in there like if I'm baking but I'm not gonna let it sit on there I'm just going to press it and dust it as well as my eyelid that way it's actually set I always go in with my finger you could also use a brush whatever you feel and then boom go in there with some setting powder that way it's all locked in place what I'll pretty much do is just take the rest of that translucent powder and just kind of set the rest of my face and that's about it. Same on this side. I'm just going to go in there. My fingers look like a disaster. And now I'm going to take my 3D HD blender brush. Brush? Sponge. And I'm going to start packing it on. I don't like to get on that edge of the nose. My foundation crease is really bad. So I'll just go in there. And as well on my chin. So instead of me applying translucent powder all over the face. Which sometimes I do do. But if I want that extra coverage look. I will take the MAC Studio Fix NC20 powder. What I'm going to do is just pack it on the rest of my face. Which is still like my forehead and all. Even though I already put powder on there. And then I do like to go in there while I'm at it. And dust off the baking powder. To prime this eye. 
I'm gonna take my Soft Joker Paint Pot by MAC and I'm just gonna take the Sigma E25 brush. So this is pretty much going to just prime the eyes. It's gonna help make the colors come out really pigmented. For contouring, I kind of screwed it up honestly. When I do my full glam, sometimes I like to cream contour and I will do that before I apply any powder. So we're gonna just try to try to do cream contour above powder and we'll see how that comes out. On this side, I don't do any cream contour. So I'm gonna take my Morphe concealer and this is in the shade Honey. I actually mentioned this in my full face of products that I hate, but I did mention I like to contour with it. I'm just going to apply this. I like this shade because it's cool tone. It doesn't look really orange or anything on the nose. To blend this out, I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Multitask Cheek Brush and I'm just gonna go in there and blend it out. And then for my nose, I just usually will take my fingers or just a really small brush. For the natural side, I'm just gonna go right into the contouring kit by Kat Von D. As you can see, I really like this. I use it on an everyday. I use it for dramatic looks. So I'm just gonna take this one right here, which is the warm shade. And I'm just gonna apply this right on the cheeks. Kind of like just bronzing. So this is just gonna give me some color. I'm gonna go also on the forehead and then a little bit just on the chin. And I'll just honestly just fold my brush and kind of contour the nose. So now for this side, I'm actually gonna take this cool shade as well as this dark shade right here. So I'm gonna go right on the cheek. So the cheeks are looking a little bit more like you know, and then I'm gonna take that on the forehead as well. I like to keep it really close to the hairline, like I'll go even right in there. And then as well, I do like to snatch that double chin. <laughs> With this cool tone shade right here, I'm going to just contour the nose. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it intense. That's actually a lot, I'm gonna blend it out, don't worry guys. I'll take my foundation brush and kinda just go over it. So now that I'm done contouring the face, I'm gonna go in there to bronze the face. So I'm gonna take this middle shade right here. I'm gonna go above the contour and this is just gonna really blend everything together and warm up the face. And then I'm also gonna take some on the forehead. I really just like to bronze my face up a lot. I like to go with my powder brush and just blend everything out so it won't look super crazy. So now I'm gonna take this blush by Tarte in the color Blissful and I'm gonna apply a little bit on my natural side and then I'm gonna take it above where that bronzer and contour is at and I'm just gonna apply it right there. So I do like to apply obviously a lot more on this side than this side. Time for highlight, I'm gonna take this one by Makeup Forever and this is in the color gold. I'm just gonna dust it on the highest points of my cheekbones. So I just kind of dust it on there. I mean, as long as it's visible, I'll be fine. But for my dramatic look, I just always have to do the most with it. I'm gonna apply some and I'm just gonna keep applying some till I feel like it's blinding. So that's definitely more intense right there. That's the kind of highlight I'm looking for. I actually don't even like to go that dramatic on the nose to begin with, so I'm just gonna go very light. I never apply highlighter on the cupid spell, like for an everyday look, but for my dramatic look, I do, so I'm just gonna take my finger and go right up in there. Moving on to the eyes. For my natural side, honestly, I just do a transition color and that's that. So I'm gonna take my Violet Voss Pro Ride or Die palette. This is absolutely huge. I'm gonna take Leslie. I'm gonna take that color with my Morphe M513 and just apply it right on the crease. I'm gonna take a little bit of Abigail just because I do want to add a little more because honestly sometimes I do want that transition color to be still noticeable. So I'm gonna grab some Abigail just a little bit darker than Leslie and I'm gonna pop that right on the crease. On the dramatic side, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna also grab Abigail and I'm gonna use that as my transition color. I'm gonna really smoke that out though. Like I'm gonna go all the way out here because I really like those kind of cat eye looks. So I'm taking that color all the way to the inner corner and outer corner, just extending it a little bit. That also just makes your eye look a lot more elongated, you know what I mean? I feel like for this eye, we're gonna pause it a little bit because there's not gonna be much going on. So I'm just gonna continue with this eye. So now I'm gonna take the color Sarah. I'm gonna just pop that right on the crease just to really get things intensified. And then I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush to make sure everything's blended. And then I'm gonna take Courtney, and with that same brush, I'm just gonna take that right on the outer V of the eye and just start really darkening this eye up. So I'm just gonna bring that also into the crease and stop right about there. Because not only do I like intensifying the outer part, but I like to really deepen up this area. You always wanna go in there and blend it out before it starts looking really 
patchy. Now I'm gonna go in with Carly. It's a black eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply this on the outer V of the eye. I'm gonna try to keep it there a little bit. Just bring it up to the crease a little bit. You don't wanna go crazy. And I'm slowly gonna try to extend this outward. I'm gonna go back in with Courtney and apply that right above the black just so we can get some transition colors going on so it can look too intense. I don't know if you guys know this, but I like to bring it really low that way it can connect to the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back to Leslie with a fluffier brush and Abigail. And I'm gonna go right above everything. At this point, I'll take it all the way to the brow bone. <laughs> so now for the eyelid, we can actually finally do something on this side. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D contour kit and I'm just gonna take this pink shade because honestly, whenever I'm doing an everyday look, I'll just grab my nearest nude color. So I'm just gonna pack that on the eyelid because sometimes if I leave the eyelid blank, it's kinda like eh, boring. And anytime I'm applying actually a skin tone, it kinda brightens it up. All right, so now I'm gonna take the color Stephanie, which looks like a beautiful color. I'm gonna apply some Fix Plus because I want this thing to be like really metallic on the eye. So I'm just gonna pack this on pretty much on the rest of that eyelid that's left blank. So now for the inner corner highlight, this side we are going to leave it blank, but on this side we are going to take Fiona, which looks like a really shimmery white shade, and we're going to take some Fix Plus. We want it to be really intense. Whoa! Okay, this is, this is intense. I kind of like that. That looks insane. I'm going to be taking this Shella Ivory Lace Highlighter. We're going to use this today on my left side, which is the natural side. And we're going to just pop that right in there. I'm not going to lie though, sometimes I'm so rushed out the door, I don't got time to put this on. And for the dramatic side, we are going to take some black eyeliner. This is the CoverGirl True Naked Duo. And I'm just taking the black side. We're going to pop this on the waterline. And after that, I'm going to apply some underneath the lower lash line. I'm just going to drag this right under. This is going to really just give you that dramatic smoky eye. Obviously, you want to blend that after. So you definitely don't have to do this step for a dramatic look, but I feel like this is what I like. And just blend that black out. And now I'm going to take some of Courtney, which is... Where the fuck is Courtney at? Oh, here it is. So now I'm gonna grab some of Courtney and I'm gonna take it also with that flat brush. I'm gonna apply it right at the bottom. And that is looking very crazy and smoked out. But I mean, I really do like to transition my lower lash line as well. I'm gonna take Abigail and apply that right under. That way there is like some transition. And I like to bring this really low as you can see. Right now it looks a little bit crazy, but once I start applying the eyeliner, false lashes, and especially when my brows are on, everything's gonna look a little bit more complete. So on my natural side, I don't like to apply eyeliner on an everyday. So for my glam side, I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Voluminous Liquid Liner or Pen Aligner. And I'm just gonna go in there and do the wings so crazy. Usually with this kind of looks, I really like to extend the eyeliner as well. I'm gonna take the Benefit They're Real. I'm gonna go in there and finish it off. So now on this side, I literally just do this. And that's it, no joke, because then I'm going to be going in with falsies. And for the lower lash line, I do like to apply a couple of coats on both sides. I'm going to be taking these Eyler lashes in the style Grand Glamour. These are the Vegas Nay ones. And then I'm also going to be taking these, the number 202. Sometimes extra could be a little bit too much, but honestly, I don't care. <laughs> Let's do it. Whoa. See, this is what I like. That is dramatic. Since I didn't apply any black eyeshadow, it kind of looks gray. So I actually want it to look super black. So I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow and just apply it on the lash line. So now time for the brows. Anytime I do my makeup like this and I have no brows, I just, I'm a little bit distraught. But I'm gonna take the Precisi My Brow Pencil by Benefit. I don't wanna be as detailed in this video just because it's gonna take forever. I feel like I need to do a separate video for that. Girl, when I do like dramatic looks, I always like to go a little bit more intense. I'm gonna take the Precisi My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And then for the rest of the brow, I'm gonna take the Good Proof Brow Pencil, also by Benefit, which is just like the thicker one. And I'm gonna fill in this entire area. And when I get to the inner corner, I do like to take my Precisely Brow Pencil and do the individual hairs. So as you guys saw, I didn't really clean up this brow. On my dramatic side, when I obviously have more time on my hands, I do like to clean up the brow. So I'm gonna take my NC20 or NC15. So I'm just gonna apply this underneath my brow with my Morphe E39. And this is why I don't really care when I apply my eyeshadow too high up because I could see there, Loki <laughs> kind of fixes it. And then I just kind of angled the brush and just start blending this out. 
All right, so finally for the lips, on my natural side, I really never like line them. So today I'm gonna be applying this one by Amrezy in the color Reezy. I'm just gonna go in there with the lipstick. I'm a huge believer in lining the lips. It really makes a difference. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever number 12 lip liner. And I'm not gonna lie, I do like to overline my lips here and there, especially my top lip because it's a lot smaller than my bottom. And the bottom lip, I do not ever really overline. And now I'm gonna go with the same Amrezy liquid lipstick. I I really like this side. I'm all about natural beauty, but I am feeling this side a lot more just because this is just me in general. Like, I can go to the grocery store with a face beat. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Which side do you like better? Do you like the natural side better or the dramatic side? I do strongly believe you should obviously appreciate yourself. Completely natural, of course. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I had so much fun. It really gave me an idea how I look with natural and dramatic makeup. Like, it's a huge difference. Before you leave, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. And do not forget to turn on the notifications. That way you guys are updated when I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.